Hey everybody, it's John, Old Man Outdoors. Welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to install drain plugs in your Bass Raider 10E. That's my specific boat, but I think the principles are also going to be looking, uh, going to work just fine for a pond prowlers or any other type of similar boat that you might buy. Uh, as you probably are aware, the drain plugs are in the front of the boat, or the Bass Raider, they're in the front of the pontoons. A little awkward to get to. They do work, but a little awkward to stand everything up. And one of the most common mods are putting the uh, drainage plugs in the back of the pontoons. But I haven't found out really where everything is measured out and talk about some of the things that are going to be involved. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to bring you along as I plug or put in some drain plugs in the back of both pontoons on my little 10E. Let's take a brief look at some of the things that you're going to be needing in the upper left. Of course, you're going to need a drill. I've got a 3 16 with a 7 8 hole saw. Now, everything is going to be linked down below if you don't have these and you'd like to have a source for them from Amazon. Down uh, underneath the hole saw, the green thing, you'll see my three uh, two marking instruments plus a, uh, a trimmer that works well in plastic. Uh, I've got the ink pen and the Sharpie pen and the little deburr. Off to the right of that, is uh, a little uh, homemade plumb bob. I'll show you why you're going to need it along with the tape measure in just a moment. Obviously you're going to need your drain plug kit. Uh, I'm going to put two drain plugs in it and uh, that's it uh, that you see a little to the left of the screen. In the center of the screen is what I use. I've made several comments in some of the videos about this uh, silicon rubber marine grade that I use when I attach anything to the little pond prowler. I found this to work really well. It doesn't get extremely hard. It stays very flexible and you can actually remove something if you need to do that at some later date. So those are some things that you're going to be needing. Now let's go in and we'll talk about how to mark everything off. This is the back of the pontoon on my pond prowler and the way I started with uh, I just wanted to see how far down this needs to be. Now you're working with two curves here. You're working with a curve going this way and a curve that's bothering down that way. Now these are somewhat flexible. Uh, I would not call semi-flexible but slightly flexible to where they will uh, form a little bit into anything that's not totally flat, but I wanted to pick a place that was as flat as possible. Now I measured across and it looks like this is five inches from here to here, so uh, I need to come down. Oh, well, first off I did, I wanted to go how far I needed to go. Now on my boat, my boat, I'm down nine and a half inches from this top lid, and uh, that gives me a fairly uh, uh, good place to put that. Now here's where this little plumb bob thing comes in. I'm gonna come up here and I'll find the center of my boat at the top. Okay so now what I've done is I found the nine and a half inches down. There's the center of the boat is right in there. So now we're just going to attach this. Now the closest thing to this is a seven eighths. That's going to be slightly undersized but I'm going to drill right there with a pilot hole and I'm going to come in with my hole saw and drill a hole just like that. Now let's build the seven eighths. All right, got that drilled. Now I'm going to come in with my D burr. That's a good tight fit. Step back and get that level. And I neglected to talk about this little small drill. Uh, but that's where we're going to start our bolt holes at. And to do that, I'm going to use my Sharpie. And I'm going to try to get those as much center as possible. So I'll bring this back out. That's a good snug fit like we want. Do that. Now's the time to make sure you got plenty of sealant with no gaps. We're going to come out all the way around it. I'm going to wipe off the inside of it. Alright, and now put it in. I don't use a power screwdriver here. I screw this in by hand. Get that nice and snug. Now you've already noticed that's white and that's not clear. Well, that was operator error on my part. I did not notice when I ordered this I had a clear and a white option. And I ended up mistakenly ordering the white, but it hasn't been a problem. It wipes off very easily. And there you have an installed drain plug.
And I'm going to wait till that dries before I put all this in. But that's how easy it is to do it on your little pond, on your little bath raider. Well, as you see, that was a relatively easy job. It's more scary than hard. Uh, it's always scary when you drill a hole in the bottom of your boat where it can leak. But I'm 100% confident that with that silicone, marine grade silicone, and uh, measuring very carefully, it's going to work just fine. This is John, Old Man Outdoors. Until we meet again, we'll see you out in God's Great Outdoors.